The levees from the Libby Glassware in Toledo left a huge endowment, not only left their personal collection, but they also left a lot of money and they have a good ancient as well as contemporary collection up there. We enter a lot of contests uh, throughout the school year. The students, whether they realize it or not, any black and white piece of artwork that they do is up for consideration to be placed in the literary magazine called Request. And Mr. Chuck Smith and the literary magazine staff will come over to my room one night after school and leaf through all these uh, artworks and pick out what they would like to have in their magazine. I really don't have any control over uh, those selections. And now I would like to announce the students who have had work selected in Request. This is the, the magazine it's debuting today. I think it's the best magazine we've ever done art-wise. I think the cover is absolutely outstanding. It was designed by John Schwartz. And by the way, John was uh, majorly responsible for a lot of the printing for this magazine, too. So if, as I call your name, students, would you come forward in recognition for being selected in request? Jenny Gonzalez, Travis Predoza, Liz Hossenjager, Terry Garrity, John Rogers, Gabe Archer, Jenny Miller, Gina Arnold, Misty Piper, Christy Barron, Lindsay Spicer, Tracy Huffman, and Matt Speck. Uh, Mr. Smith and his staff is going to be out in the uh, hallway. I think these are still $3. There's interesting art as well as poetry, prose, and other English writing things. I'm, <laughs> I'm not up on these. But it's an excellent magazine. And these are the students who have been honored with the artworks this year. Oh, by the way, Lindsay Spicer, do you just want to stop for a minute, Lindsay? <laughs> Lindsay's artwork was selected as the best art in the magazine by the literary staff, and you'll see that piece when you go into the art show. Thank you, Lindsay. Each year, QP Hamburger and Art Space Lima sponsor an invitational art show, and they send letters to art teachers that they invite. And what I will do is pick out about 50 artwork, take them up to Art Space Lima, they judge them, and from those, from all the artwork uh, taken up there, they pick out the ones that they want to have on their show. And any time, if I just pick out the work to be taken up there, that's an honor because we've got thousands of pieces of work in that room to have to, have to sort through. And once that, if you, you know, if you made it through that first one and you get, get it actually in the show, you're really in the elite group. So I want to announce the people who have work selected to be placed in the Art Space Lima uh, Invitational. And as I call your names, would you people come forward, please? Erica Weitzel, Nicole Rodriguez, Savannah Dixon, Tom Young, Gina Arnold, Jenny Gonzalez, Justin Guggenville. This is basically, I think they say they go out in a nine county area around Lima. Uh, Erica received, what, $10 in the mail for something she won at, at Lima QP Invitational, but we don't know what it is. Something. Uh, it wasn't one of the better organized shows this year. We didn't receive a program, and so anyway, she got an award, but you know, it's nice, but we don't know what it is. Hey, thank you guys. Each year the governor sponsors his own art show, and today they're actually at 2 o'clock, they're having their opening and awards presentation down at the State Office Tower in Columbus. They'll pick 250 of the best art pieces in the state for that exhibition, and we always enter that. We take our work to Ada High School. It took about 60 pieces to Ada High School to go through the regional judging. And we had several pieces. I think we had 15 pieces that made regional judging, which means they then went to Columbus to be in consideration for that 250 piece show. Usually, we get to at least one or two things in that show, but for some reason this year we didn't. In fact, our region only got two things in when they usually get about 10 things in, and that's the nature of art. Uh, you never know what current trend is, what the judging or judges are looking at. We basically run a pretty conservative curriculum and, and it's hard to compete against uh, places like Columbus Alternative School who really get into contemporary expressionistic things. 
So I'd like to now announce uh, these re regional art winners. Uh, if you guys could come forward when I call your name. Trent Dysart had two pieces selected. Savannah Dixon, Lindsay Spicer, Jenny Miller, Andrea Brown, Angie Fink, Tracy Huffman, Erica Weitzel, Nicole Rodriguez, Seth Taylor, Chris Hanna with two selections, and Justin Guggenbiller. I was supposed to have certificates, but they didn't come, so when, they, when I get them from the regional office, then I'll, I'll give you guys your certificate. So these are, you know, to, to equate this in terms that a lot of these people can understand, it would be like, you know, winning the regionals in basketball, or winning the regionals in football, or winning the regionals in track, or whatever, Why they're doing it in art. Thank you guys. with the High Governor's uh, Youth Art Exhibition, they sponsor an art criticism contest. And that is in, was last June, which was June of 96. So what I do for that is in the Advanced Place in Art History class, each one of those students has an assignment to write an art criticism essay. And this was obviously last year, because one person has to read all of those entries it takes until the next fall to get the results back. We did very well this year. In fact, we had second in the state, and this is uh, by a young lady who's at college right now, Rachel Hockey, who could not be here today. We also had two honorable mentions in this contest. One of them went to Katie Rice, who's also a graduate, but the other one went to a girl who's currently a junior then. And now she's a senior, and I would like to present, I think she's going to be here, Jessica, Jessica Green. I would like to present her honorable mention certificate for uh, the Ohio Art Criticism Writing Contest. class to win something in the art awards. So that's, and, and uh, all of those students did a really good job in their writing. The most prestigious uh, contest we enter is the Scholastic Art Award. This is a national competition. Uh, it's been around forever. I entered it when I was in high school. It's a very traditional, high school oriented type of contest. It's held at Bluffton College and it's a jury competition so you take 50 or 60 pieces up and you hope that you get uh, five or ten in. We had, I think, six in this year. Uh, we had one, two, three. We had five in this year. Getting something in the show means you get a, you get a certificate of participation. The next award would be an honorable mention, and the highest award would be a gold key. Anyone in the Scholastic Art Awards who gets a gold key, their work is automatically sent to New York for national competition. This year we had uh, three honorable mentions, and two gold keys. The gold key work is not in the art show because it's currently in New York being judged, and we probably won't get that back until the summer. But these, these five students are in a very elite group in the state and in the nation as far as art goes. And I would like to present the honorable mentions at this time. They go to Lindsay Spicer, Erica Weitzel, and Savannah Dixon. artwork that went to Nicole Rodriguez.
time, we would like to present the certificates of participation. Each student who had a work selected to be in the art show is going to be honored with a certificate today. And how I select my pieces, and I tell the students, if you received an A or an A minus on your artwork, then you need to prepare it to be in the art show. So they need to, to go back to the back of the room, they take a map to it, they put cardboard on the back of it, they put plastic around it, and they put their name card at the bottom, and we stack them starting right away in September. And then uh, about a month ago, we started sorting those out and getting them stapled on board so they could have been, could be judged uh, last Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and start mine. I've got a big stack here. It does go relatively quickly, so bear with me. And uh, as I call your name, students, will you just come on up and get your certificate? Oh, by the way, we've got kind of a wild theme this year. It's kind of an outer space theme. I don't know if that's symbolic of anything, but it was designed by Abby Reinhardt, and that's reflected on the certificate here. It isn't painting kind of a self-portrait of the art teacher or anything like that. <laughs> These are in no particular order, students, so you're going to have to really be on the ball to uh, recognize your name here. Shanna Puppet, Kelly Green, Lindsay Spicer, Gina Arnold, Tracy Huffman, Savannah Dixon, Dan Hanna, John Young, Andrea Brown, David Meyer, Nick Pavelka, Greg Deaton, Chris Shane Levin, Nicole Rodriguez, Liz Hossenjager, Michelle Arnold, David Beckstead, Dan Herchenroder, Todd Huffmeyer, Stacy Kittle, Katie Kanaki, Michelle Link, Jeff Newton, Justin Stockler, Jeff Springer, Amanda Snyder, Casey Reinhardt, David Ligers, Lindsay Beckstead, Sarah Nash, Nathan Knappi, Ryan Webker, Ben Lay, Kathy Niekamp, Jenny Hoskins, Terry Gutmiller, Andrea Freeman, Jessica Braun, Christy Barron, Jennifer Brueggemann, Justin Guggenbiller, Chris Hanna, Sarah Brown, Sarah Baker, Betsy Cooper, Sandra Plaza, Alan Guggenbiller, Scott Garwood, Dave Archer, Amy Coon, Kurt Lehman, Travis Cardoza, <laughs> Seth Pearson, Chad Moeller, <coughs> Jenny Miller, Trent Dyser, Ross Romer, Brad Rolfus, Elena Shellick, Erica Weitzel, Kyle Dingledine, Mitch Fleming, Terry Garrity, Nick Teagarden, Sasha Mace, John Lair, Justin McAfee, Deke Mormon, Darren Quinter, Matt Seifring, Angie Fink, Holly Mitchell, John Wenning, Nathan Hart, Chris Siebert, Chad Stolle, Seth Taylor, Brad Toby, Heather Zumberg, Nick Scott, Matt Specka, Misty Piper, John Rogers, Lindsay Miller, Mark Mayhew, Natasha Byerly, Aaron Arnold, Hakeem Alaga, I think, <laughs> Jeff Davis, Kate Green, Jackie Fink, Nick Hall, Nick Hosman, Aaron Hemmelgarn, Ryan Piper, Abby Kanaki, Chris Holman. I'm getting down towards the end here. Melissa Luthman, Jenny Gonzalez, 
Star Honey, Travis Shinneberry, Katie Forstoffel, Jeff Schott, Neil Smith, Joe Mustard, Kyle Vanderhorst, Mo Tuck, Lindsay Pearson, Amanda Hart, Arnett Metzger, Brent Hartke, Kristen Daly, Kristen Helworth, Jamie Dickerson, Katie Kanapke, Michelle Jenkins, Mary Hurt, Josh Wellman, Amy Stover, Nina Riggs, <coughs> Justin Rolfus, Lori Fleck, Aaron Cook, Dustin Ringer, Jamie Conan, David Lynn, that's all right, you clap. They deserve it. Ann Minchover, Corey Smith, Roger McDavid, Sarah Henderson, Kathy Flowers, Luke Van Tilburg, Abby Reinhardt, and John Schwartz. By the way, Abby right here is the one who designed this program with the wild guy on the front. <laughs> How we do that art show poster thing is that in the graphics class, which is supposed to be advertising art, they all the assignment is to design a poster for the art show. And they all come up with something, and then we hang all those up, and all the art students vote on the poster. So I have nothing to do with what the poster selection is. The students in my classes and Nancy's classes vote on that, and the one that receives the most votes is the winner. In fact, we had a uh, runoff this year between Abby's and Erica Weitzel's. You'll see her in the art show had a big watch on the front. It was very, very close, like one or two votes, even on the runoff with those two. At this time, I'm going to introduce Nancy Clockwise. She's our ceramics instructor. Uh, Nancy's been doing a great job since, um, go ahead. <laughs> Dave Hokey uh, is now teaching over at the junior high, and Nancy's taking over our ceramics program. So she's going to present her certificates of participation for her ceramics students. One thing that I'd like to do is invite you, if you'd like to, after you finish seeing the art show, to come down to the ceramics lab. The ceramics lab has some new equipment this year, thanks to a lot of business people. And we have uh, five professional ceramic pottery wheels that are new. And those are donated from uh, <coughs> Key Bank, the employees at Renoir Vision, Stan Labs Family, Ryan Key Mitchell and Bud Chevrolet, the employees at Crown, Citizens Commercial Bank, People's Bank, and Mercer Savings and Loan. And I just would like to thank the community for their support of that. Um, we'll start with this again. And, and the, these are people who have chosen to be in the art show. And I'll read their names. And you all can come up and, and get your certificate. Jeremy Bruins, Jeff Menchover, Jason Sesser, Ty Dar, Julie Klosterman, Mandy Godwin, Stacy Gentry, Susan Niekamp, Jenny McDowell, Jackie Magato, Jesse Owen, Cindy Putoff, Justin McAfee, Amy Sheets, Nikki Wolfgang, Dave Tobin, Garrett Giesky, Tom Cox, Holly Mitchell, Mindy Snyder, Matt Hollis, Abby Reinhardt, Amy Gray, Ryan Schmidt, Lindsay Miller, Toby Hiley, Bo Williams, Brad Gear, Josh Stogler, Dave Lice, Ryan Shinneberry, Scott Talley, Katie Schibedecker, Jenny Steinbrenner, Mandy Wolfgang, Mary Romer, Ryan Dilter, Becky Eichenauer, 
Ben Dale, Jeff Grisha, Matt Cordy, Brad Louth, Chad Nadal, Leslie Niemeyer, Chris Schoenleben, John Schwartz, Ben Shaw, Jamie Stott, Brad Stroll, Nick Bowers, Mackenzie Elam, Summer Godwin, Darby Phelps, Nate Linton, Natalie Muther, Karul Patel, Kyle Raltus, <coughs> Holly Uhlenhaek, Jeremy Uhlenhaek, Jenny Walls, and Lindsay Spicer. Um, there are signs throughout this area that direct you to the ceramic lab, and so you're all certainly welcome to come down. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mark Fleck, and Mark uh, will say a few words about Mercer Savings and his relationship with the art department and present the Mercer Savings Award. Thank you, Mrs. Clay. It's a pleasure to be here today to uh, acknowledge the parents for giving the insight into your children. It's amazing how when your children were in the kindergarten doing the finger painting and then progressing on through high school here, how the art has stuck with them and we're very pleased to be here today to present these cash awards. I I'm here today to present the Mercer Savings Bank Award <coughs> to Lindsay Spicer, winner of twenty dollars. Thank 
Sparkle goes to Abby Kanaki, and second place to Kelly Green. Third place, pencil drawing to Sandra Plaza, second place to Lindsay Pearson. Third place, ink drawing to Sarah Brown, second place to Elizabeth Hossinger. First place, abstract to Travis Schuster, and second place to Sasha Mace. goes to Tracy Huffman and second place to Nick Pavelka. First place uh, figure to Seth Taylor and second place to Trent Dyson. First place landscape to Kelly Green and second to Savannah Dixon. First place animal to Jenny Gonzalez and second place to Misty Piper. That first place animal didn't surprise me because uh, Jenny Gonzalez does all kinds of wonderful things with animals when she draws. Uh, first place still life to Nick Scott and second place to Kristen Daly. First place pencil painting to Katie Green and second place to Sasha Mace. First place color pencil to Erica Weitzel and second place to Nicole Rodriguez. First place pastel to Lindsay Spicer and second to Gina Arnold. First place, Bradshaw Pet to Gina Arnold, and second place to Elizabeth Lossinger. First place, Computer Graphics to Nicole Rodriguez, and second, Computer Graphics to Erica Weiss. First place, Well Passed Out to Kirk Lehman, and second to Holly Nelson. First place, Mixed Media to Elizabeth Hossenjager, and second to Chris Hannon. At this time, I would like to award the Places Award. This award carries a $15 uh, award from Mercer Savings Bank. And uh, this is a student who has participated in art for four years, who has uh, entered many contests, won many awards, in fact, Last year, she had a piece in the Governor's Show, and that piece is on display this year because it wasn't able to be judged last year because it was in the Governor's Show. So this year, I would like to give the Places Award to a really nice mixed media piece that she did to Erica Weitzel. the best of show. This is the piece that the judges thought was the strongest piece overall as far as technique, expressive ability, originality, and everything of all the pieces that they looked at. This is a thousand pieces, so this is quite an award. And uh, this also carries $15. And this year it goes to Sasha Mace. Hey, Nancy's going to give the ceramics award. We're just about done. Not, not too much longer. This is for first place in the pottery wheel, Katie Schivedecker. For second place, Abby Reinhardt. This is for a combination award, which means you can use a number of techniques to create the piece. For first place, John Schwartz. For second place, Susan Nikan. This is for the Sculpture Award. For first place, Holly Mitchell. Second place, Jeff Grisha. This is for the Coil Pot Award. For first place, Jennifer Steinbrenner. Second place, Mindy Snyder. The Slab Pot Award. First place, Chris Schoenleben. Second place, Bo Williams. Ryan Smith. The second place is Lindsay Miller. Um, for the first ceramic award overall, Holly Mitchell. For second, Amy Gray. First slab construction, Mackenzie Elam. Second place, Kyle Rolfes. I also 
uh, choose an award. And this year, I chose a piece that you'll see in the art, war, uh, art room. And it's a, uh, it's, it's a very clever piece. It's sort of a birdhouse with a little bird coming out. And then there's a cat at a very precarious angle going after the, the bird. And that is presented to Ben Shaw. by you. It's called the People's Choice Award. When you go into the, the gym, there's going to be a table, a round table in the center, and you're going to, there's going to be some ballots there. What you need to do is to go through the art show, find out, find the piece that you like the best. And each piece has a name card on, and the bottom of that name card is a number. And what you need to do is to write that number down and put it in the ballot box. Please just vote once. And that goes for this group right over here, too. <laughs> I got a feeling they may want to stuff the ballot box. I don't know. Um, also, there's, there's punch and cookies in there. And if, if anybody would want to volunteer, don't let these guys in first or anything left. If anybody would like to volunteer to help serve punch, I could use some help on that a little bit later. Uh, the show will be on until 4 o'clock today. And at 4 o'clock, you students, if you would like to come and just directly remove your piece from here and take it home, that would really save us a tremendous amount of sorting later on in the art room. But please hold on to your numbers because when we figure out which one receives the most votes, we're only going to have a number. You'll have to look on your name card to see if you've won. Um, I apologize for this running a little bit longer. We've always gotten out at 2 o'clock, but we're about seven minutes over. I really appreciate you coming, and I hope you really enjoy the art show. Thank you. <laughs>